This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. In this lesson, we're going to talk some more about working with your customer center and your vendor center. We talked about the customer and the vendor list in the past lessons. Now we're going to talk more about the centers. So I'm going to click on Customer Center. And I want to show you a few things. I can change the width here. And when I move my cursor, it becomes a two-directional arrow. And I can see less or more of my customer list depending upon my needs. And the nice thing is when I click on a customer name on the left, over here on the right, it shows me a quick report of all the information for that customer. So when I click on Christy, I see all of her information. When I click on Robert, I would see his information. I could click on Christy's jobs and I'll see just the information for that particular job. Or when I click on Christy's name, it'll show me all of the activity for her. Now I can show all transactions or maybe I'm just looking for a certain invoice. So I can filter based on the type of transaction that I want to see. Then I can also, once I've said I want to see invoices, I can say which invoices. Do I just want to see open invoices that have not been paid or just overdue invoices? And then I can also change my date over here. Do I want to see this year? Do I want to see last year? What period is it that you're looking for? So you can go through and do lots of customization on these quick reports. The other thing that's nice is you can actually click on the column heading to sort by that field. So when I click by number, it's in number order. I could click on account, or I'm sorry, amount, and put it in order by amount. So you can click on these column headings to change how these are sorted for you. You also have real quick and easy information for your customers up here the name, the address, the contact information, and you can go through and, and change those if you need to. You also have a map and directions. And this is true, what I'm showing you here is true on your customer center and your vendor center. You could have a map that would show you from your company's address to Christie's address, and you can get a map or directions so that that's quick and easy for you and you can print that out if you need to. Again, this stuff is, is applicable to both the customers and the vendor center. When I'm in my vendor center, again, when I click on a name, I've got a report and I can filter my report. I've got all the contact information up here. And if I look down a little bit, I can do a map and directions as well. So what I'm showing you applies to the customers and the vendor center, to both. We were looking at the customer information. We also could look at transactions for all customers. So if I wanted to see invoices not just for Christy, but for all of my customers, I can click on invoices and it will show me all customer invoices. I could sort by number to see the, the invoices in order, maybe by amount, by the ones that are still open and haven't been paid yet. So by clicking on the column headings, we can change how those are sorted. Again, we can filter if we wanted to, to just look at overdue invoices. We can change our dates. So the Customers tab is when you want to see each individual customer. The Transactions tab is when you want to see transactions for all customers. Again, this is true in the Vendor Center as well. If I click on Transactions, I can go look at all the bills that I've entered so that you can go see the information that you need. One other thing that's really helpful is when you're in your Customer Center on the Customer List, if I click this arrow right here, it will give me a report of all my customers and I can customize this by right click and choose customize columns. This allows you to see just those fields that you want to see for your customers. So for example, I could scroll down and choose the fields that I wanted to see and perhaps I want to see the fields that I've added custom like the birthday, the spouse's name, the cell phone number, and I can add those to this report so that I can see those quick and easy. I can change the width of my columns by putting my cursor on that column in between the two column headings. See how it becomes a two-directional arrow? 
and I can click and drag and drop and change the width of these columns. So you can customize this to see information on all your customers quick and easy. I could print this if I wanted to, I could export it to Excel, or I could pull up Word if I wanted to as well. I can then get back to my customer center by clicking this arrow over. See, it opens that window for you and shows you the report that you've customized with the different columns, and then you can close it to get back to your normal customer center. One other thing I wanted to point out to you, you see the little notepad, the little notes icon? See how that says notes? You have a little notepad on your customers and on your vendors where you can keep track of different things as you talk to them. So you can get to your notepad in this field, or also when you're in your customer center, see where it says edit notes? That will pull up the notepad for you as well. Again, this is true in our customer center as well as our vendor center. I can click on vendors and click on this to get a report of my vendors and a right click, I can customize my columns to see just the information that I need to see adding fields and moving the fields around as I need to, changing the width as I need to. So you can use this to help you to manage your customers, to help you manage your vendors, and see the information that you need so that you can manage your business.